from up smash or up air or grab up throw up air. So having all the options in his disposal, I think, is one of his biggest strengths. And I think he's going to lose if he is predictable. Um, and that's really all I got for you. So Toussaint coming in with a fire. Uh, the scariest thing about Toussaint is when he really starts going and he and really plays his game, right. you feel like there's only one thing you can do, and that's start using lasers. Right? Right. right. Um, and that's what Toussaint wants you to do. Uh, so we'll see. I mean, super close so far. Um, it's really more of a long-term analysis that we'll see. Good SDI. Another important thing to look out for, right? Are they getting the up throw up air? Can Tucson get out of it? Looks like he can. Yep. Absolutely. He's proven that time and time again. Ooh, that was a cute little uh, wave dash back back air by Cypher Phoenix to get him into position for that next back air. Right. Now the thing, I mean, I, I wasn't expecting that back air to come out. Yeah. Neither yeah. Was yeah, unpredictability. I mean, that's what you've been preaching this whole time, and I, I think I like hearing that word. <laughs> yeah, it's a big part. So we'll see what he does in these lower percents. Toussaint, mm. is that enough? Wow. Yeah. Good recognition. No, Puff Up Smash is very, very strong. Toussaint's really moving, too. So Cypher Phoenix in a bit of a laser mode. But modes are what you said you don't want to see. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and you saw that. Toussaint recognized the laser mode, went in, got his hits, and made it count. Oh! Misses the jab reset. Okay, good DI gets out of it, but now wow. bad DI and does not get out of it. That was a terrifying vortex of pink puff hitboxes the entire time. Yep. The the edge cancel down air to cross up and shield poke, extend the pressure sequence. Oh, man, Toussaint. <laughs> He's just all over the place, dude. Yeah. Holy crap. Toussaint's trying to win the tournament. Absolutely. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah. Those are important kills to get. Um, but when you're down three to one, it comes down to a bit more than that. Oh, his pounds, man. His pounds are so, so good. We yeah. saw it earlier, too, against uh, against Warmer. Had some pound edge guards that worked out really, really well. Pound edge guards are so interesting. It's like you go out to kind of cover certain options, you come back with a pound, and yeah. right when they think they, they've made it, yeah. they're done. Yep. Another thing to point out was right at the, the end there, um, Cypher Phoenix gave up on the laser strategy, started doing a lot of like platforms, back airs, type stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Tuesday picked up on it, hit him with a falling nair, hit him with a dash attack. So these types of things, if you if you allow Puff to formulate a game plan and set up what they want to set up, it's just not going to work for you. And I, so I'm interested to see like, okay, lasers, how long they go in between lasers, and how long they go doing lasers without s switching it up. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. And, and I think Cypher Phoenix is probably someone who thinks about that, right? Yeah, And that's the, sure. the sort of double-edged sword, because thinking about it is obviously good. Okay, when am I going to mix it up? But if you start thinking about it, you're, you're putting a pattern on it by thinking about it, too, right? right? <coughs> it's so hard to think about making your timing hard to, to react to. Bad DI too. Yeah, he thought he had a chance of living, um, but it was actually because it was on the top platform. I think the DI up there doesn't kill Pokemon Stadium's low ceiling coming into play for Jigglypuff favorably yeah. for once. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I was I like we said before about like thinking about what you're doing. Yeah. To to kind of screw you up. Um, it's important that you. I, I think it's something that needs to be processed ahead of time. You can't actively be deciding what your mm. next move is going to be. You mm. have to. You have to kind of feel it out, um, and that's, I think, if, if that doesn't come across, it's because it's not where, it, it, it's because Toussaint is making him uncomfortable. That's what I'm trying to say, is okay. Is if it comes to like, okay, this is my mode now, This like if he feels stiff, 
It's not because right, he's right, a right. stiff player. We've right, seen right. him Toussaint, play. Toussaint is making him go, oh god, I need to switch into this mode yeah. now because I, I'm not working with this one. Right, and that's Toussaint's strength. Right, and Toussaint really, really strong at adapting to those modes. Look, he's not in laser mode right now, so what's Toussaint doing? He's drifting away from him to punish these aerials in. Yep. See, now, now you're, you're mm -hmm. yeah, it, it's, mm -hmm. it, it's such a fun matchup when the puff is, <laughs> when the puff is like controlling what's going on. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. That's a different mode. Yeah. We didn't see that at all, <laughs> right? a new Cypher Phoenix coming yeah. out here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a, and he's probably, probably went for like the last shorten, the longest shorten. All right, Cypher Phoenix taking some time to think. He's shooting lasers, but then he switches it up very, very See what quickly. I mean? Yeah, that's, that was that's nice. the beautiful part. Is yeah. like, oh, you think I'm lasering? Nope, I'm gonna grab you. Oh, again, yeah, and look at how it's been working out for him. One more up throw, up air could do it here. Ooh. So yeah, so he had two times in a row where he went laser and then to approach, laser mm -hmm. to approach, mm -hmm. and then the third time he didn't quite do it. Not working out. The uh, only thing you can do is di up. Man. So. Um, but it's going to come down to, look, can Cypher Phoenix control? It really comes down to control. Right. Can you control the flow of the match? Right. Um, and so far, it's been Toussaint dictating what Cypher Phoenix is trying to do. And anytime a change happens, Toussaint's there to present the counterplay and execute properly. And Cypher Phoenix going to Yoshi's, I think it worked out for him last set. Yeah, and I think when we talk about s what you were just saying, you know, Toussaint has the counterplay. We we've been memeing on Toussaint's aggression a lot, yep. but that's where you see it, right? Oh yep. my god, <laughs> this matchup sometimes. Yep. Um, <laughs> that's where you see it, right, is that he gets very aggressive in, here's my option to beat your thing, and yep. it, I just threw it out immediately. Like, I only needed to see what you were doing one time to now have the solution. Right. It's a big difference between him and HBox because yeah. H what HBox will do when he's getting lasered mm -hmm. is just dodge every laser, yeah, like the yeah, shield yeah, all, yeah. the power shield, all this crazy stuff. Ooh. Oh my god, at damn. 47, dude! Yeah, it looks like this is the stage for Cypher Phoenix. Yeah. Um, but oh. what Toussaint will do is, okay, you're lasering, I'm going to take max distance room. Now if you try sure. to laser again, you get a back air to the face. Right. Um, and I think... You're right. That's that's where the whole like two Saint aggro thing comes out. He's also way more comfortable kind of taking center stage. There's, there's a lot to it. But. Yeah. Oh Damn. my god, dude! He has gotten such early up throw up airs. Yeah. All right. Quick game three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I'm Cypher Phoenix, I'm literally just thinking, where's my next grab coming? Because two Saint also missed the smash di. Many times now. It's true. Which makes that option a lot more tempting. Okay. That was some good melee. Oh, just across the board, those guys were really spacing around each other well. Toussaint earned the hell out of that phone. Ooh, match. did you see how long that wave dash was from Cypher Phoenix? Yep. <laughs> Into an up tilt, too? Ugh. Yeah. Okay, there's some up smashes, and he Ooh, manages good. to get out that time. Yeah. I think it might have just missed, but uh, either way, two Saint. We say that's SDI if it's our boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. you're crazy. <laughs> you're crazy. Wait just a second. Oh, two Saint, such good spacing around the dash attack. Nice short. Or the get up attack, my, my bad. Yeah, that was a great short. <laughs> I don't know, man. Cyber Phoenix looks sort of antsy for these kill options. That air though. Oh. Randall kind of getting in the way. Tuesday makes the best out of it. Drill. Drill. Whoa. <laughs> cool okay. stuff. Um, still scary. Yeah. For um, both players, I think. This is actually a lot closer than it was feeling. And still very good for Tuesday to put up this performance. Even if he loses this game, which is likely because he's down a lot. Oh. Hold on. Okay, I, knew, right. I knew I knew as soon as you said it. I knew as soon as you said it.